Hello and welcome to The Fine Print. I'm Jeff Zeleny. Today we're joined by someone you may not have heard of, but you sure know his tweets. Vincent Harris, he's the chief digital strategist for Senator Rand Paul. Was he social media savvy to start out or have you had to bring him along a little bit? No, Senator Paul from the beginning has been very digitally savvy. Uh, even in my first interview with him, he mentioned that he wanted to run a cutting edge digital campaign, something new, something that was very different than what President Obama had run. So how would you describe the, the uh, strategy or the goals? Is it to pick fights with uh, potential rivals? The strategy and the number one problem that people have in politics is just getting their information across to somebody. How do you reach somebody at all? How do you break through? How do you break through? And that news and information has to be entertaining, it's got to be interesting, and it's got to be different than how everyone else is communicating. So how does that fake audio conversation between Jeb Bush and Hillary Clinton fit into that? Well, we both agree on so many issues. Bigger government, Common Core, and amnesty for illegal immigrants. Well, we've both got problems. You've got problems with the grassroots, and I've got all those damn conservatives. We were trying to get our message uh, and some of our talking points about Governor Bush and about Secretary Clinton uh, out to a broader public. People expect their politicians now to take serious messages, to take serious policy, and to deliver it to them in a way that they can read through this device, through memes, through web videos, through personal Facebook posts, through short, pithy tweets. Every study out there shows people now use the internet more than they watch television. I was reading a study about millennial moms, how they use their mobile device more than watch TV, more than go on their laptop. How do you reach a millennial mom? You have to communicate on her mobile device. She's on Facebook, she's on Pinterest, she's on Instagram. How do we communicate our message and our serious policy onto those mediums? It's not a five minute speech. It's something short and simple and entertaining. You've been somewhat outspoken in your criticism of the Republican Party for not being as, as up to speed as Democrats. There's not some Democrats are the only tech people that use the internet and Republican old Tea Party grandmas don't. Tea Party grandmas are the ones that are sharing information on Republican social media pages. I still in meetings hear people say Republicans aren't online, old people aren't online. It's just not true. Older people are the people that are most active on a lot of my client pages. Are those TV consultants who are saying that? Or? This is about furthering our ideals and running the same type of campaigns that Ronald Reagan ran is not going to do that. And it's TV consultants largely and this establishment class here in the Washington bubble beltway who are running campaigns the same way. And you can't do that anymore. Where do you spend your money? Do you spend your money on a centralized database? Do you spend your money on online ads? Do you spend your money on digital staff? Or do you spend your money on TV consultants that ran Ronald Reagan and have one gray hair left? One gray hair left. Yes. So, I've seen him. <laughs> so your argument is that the digital piece of the pie should be equal to or far bigger than it's been at any other point. I wouldn't have left Senator Cruz to go work for Senator Paul unless Senator Paul was, was a huge believer as he is in digital and unless he was going to put the amount of resources into his organization that are necessary to, to run a digital tech operation. Uh, there was a study after the 2012 election yes. and someone on the Romney campaign said you know, it, it took approval of like a committee of almost like 30 people. Like there was this long email chain oh. and the Obama people said, you know, like they did it uh, fast. I saw that. We yeah. sent around that email internally and said we will never be like this. Right. Look, we live in a 24 second news cycle. You can't wait 24 hours to get something out. If something's breaking, we got to get it out. We need to insert ourselves and Senator Paul is a big believer in this. Insert yourself into the news story. Insert yourself and your message and your brand into the conversation that is happening. What's been your favorite thing that you've done so far? Around the Super Bowl, we asked people to print out these paper footballs. We call them Liberty Football. Yeah, so um, it, it was really cool. So how did you come up with that? We just figured that this would be a great way for people that were sitting at home around Super Bowl Sunday to get involved with the campaign. I think usually politicians talk 
at voters and at volunteers. And one thing that we wanted to make sure of, the beauty of social media is that it's social, that it's interactive. And if you look at a lot of other politicians, again, they take their message and they just shove it at people, but that's not what Senator Paul wants to do. Senator Paul wants to have a social discussion. And so thank you very much for your time. You. Uh, we look forward to seeing what the 2015 and 16 brings. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. And that's all for this edition of The Fine Print. For ABC News and Yahoo News, I'm Jeff Zeleny. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.